Okay, so I know I haven't seen you guys in such a while, long time, such a while, <laughs> good English there, um, <laughs> such a long time, but I'm doing a video for you now and I really hope you enjoy it. It's something different and something that I've never done before and um, probably not the most original idea, in fact I can tell you where I stole it from, but I won't, I'll just leave the link to their channel in the bottom. <laughs> Thanks Emma. And um, so this is a makeup tutorial and specifically it's a makeup tutorial for my natural everyday look which is completely different to this cake to makeup look that I've got going on today that I do for my videos. It's really natural and it's for when I want to go out and I really really hope you guys like it and give me any comments or tips or advice that you have for if you want to see future makeup videos. Um, I really hope you like it. So. So here you are getting the pleasure of my completely bare face with no makeup on. Okay, so first I get a hairband and I just scrape back all my hair so that I don't get my makeup in my hair. It's not a good look for me. So step one is to get your foundation, which is two or three shades darker than your natural skin tone. So you get that natural glow and put at least a pea size, maybe bigger. I think I've gone for a bit bigger then, unless you have like giant peas. A pea size blob of foundation and put your lid back on your foundation. Next, you need to get a brush. It doesn't have to be clean, doesn't really matter. And just smear the foundation all over your face, making sure that you don't meet the hairline because you don't want it, you want people to notice that you're wearing makeup. And how are they going to tell if it's blended in properly? Um, don't worry too much if it's streaky because. Um, we can just cover that up later and no one will really be paying that much attention to it to the base layer foundation once you've added the next also make sure that you've got a solid line of foundation around your chin and don't blend it too far down into your neck okay so next you just want to get your hands and just rub it in completely make sure you get it all in your eyebrows so that you can have a nice clean base to work on when you get on with when we move on to eyebrows Okay, so you can see I've got like a master foundation. Step two is to get some really bronze body shimmer. It needs to be quite like sun kissed so you look really tanned and put it again, put it on the back of your hands just like you did with your foundation. And take your fingers and just smear it onto your face just like the foundation but this time with your fingers instead of a brush and you just want to do it exactly the same way. Um, making sure you don't go into the hairline or down into the neck because otherwise how would people know i use shimmer because obviously as we all know boys love that shiny look and nothing's better than making you shiny than a bit of body shimmer okay so next you just want to get a makeup wipe and just wipe off all the foundation and bronzer off your hands so you don't smear it onto your clothes and there you go just and now it's blended in. So step three is to get a bronzer and a brush. This one that I'm using is a Ted Baker bronzer with a Ted Baker brush. And you just want to apply it like you do with your foundation. You just want to, this just will really seal in the foundation and the bronzer so that it doesn't slide off. And you've got like what I like to call a cake face where you can like use your fingernails to take it off if you really want to do but obviously you wouldn't because you want it to stay really well make sure you cover your lips because there's nothing worse than having pale lips okay so step four i think that was is to get a little brush and some dark eyeshadow to cover color in your eyebrows i use a dark brown because i'm blonde so that it doesn't blend in too much with my hair you want to make them bigger so that they really stand out and frame your face step five is to get an eyeliner pencil and give yourself make sure you're looking in the mirror when you do this and give yourself lots of eyeliner around your eyes you want to make sure that it's really, really thick so they make your eyebrow eyes really pop. But don't worry if it's not exactly accurate. Make sure you do it on the top and the bottom of your eyes because you don't want lopsided eyes. And make sure they look the same. Okay, so step six is eyeshadow. This is my favourite because it's sparkly and I really love sparkles. This is called Star Dazzle and it's bright pink which because obviously as you can probably tell from my surroundings that pink is the best colour in the world ever. So what I do is I just put it into the lid so I can see what I'm doing and I just use my finger to put the eyeshadow, I don't. I just dropped it onto the floor there. I just use my eyeshadow to put it all over my eyes, and I make sure I put quite a lot on each eye because 
obviously because you really want everyone to know that you're pink and you don't want them to then blend too much into your lovely tan skin so step seven is mascara this is called lash attack and it's really nice and i got it in ms magazine so it's like really expensive mascara because you know it's only the best in that because it's a celebrity gossip magazine i guess um so yeah you want to put lots on and don't worry if you like get it onto your cheeks because then people can know that you took lots of effort to put your makeup on this morning and it just really shows how dedicated you are to making yourself look naturally beautiful which is the target of this look okay so next this is lipstick again it's pink because pink is lovely and it matches my eyeshadow this is number 175 from Maybelline if you actually want to actually have a look at it because genuinely I do like this necklace um, necklace lipstick I say genuinely far too much okay so you want to put lots on you don't have to follow the lines of your lips because obviously if you have lips like mine which are quite small you want everyone to know that you, everyone to think you've got really voluptuous lips so you can just go around the edges a bit and there you go pout ready for a selfie Okay, and I believe there is one more step, step eight, which is actually step nine because I missed out step seven. And this is a clear, shiny, sparkly lip gloss just to put over your lips because the sparkle of it will really make your lips look shiny and mirror-y and they, the shine will match your skin. So that's my makeup done. So now I'm just going to pop my glasses back on so I can see, that's not a good look, and take my hair down. Obviously with your hair you can do whatever you want, but obviously the preferred look is to make it really, really big and make sure that it's on both sides. And that is my finished look. I hope you really like it and now I'm ready to go take a selfie. Hey guys, so I really hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I did manage to take all the makeup off and only took two makeup wipes, which kind of look really really gross now and luckily oh, my parents didn't see what I was doing because I think they'd be pretty shocked to walk in with my slugs for eyebrows um I just wanted to say that one that I was no way serious if you didn't get that and two I didn't mean to offend anyone um yeah so I really really hope you liked it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos I can't say that I upload them on a regular basis because I really don't, but that's what I've got now, so I will see you when I see you. Don't get your duration. Bye!